Let's bring in former senior associate counsel to President Trump, Sam Raymer. He's a partner at Norton Rose Fulbright. Sam, great to have you. Thanks for having me, Mike. Well, things are so polarized in Washington these days. You either get this is a great move or this is the worst move. How big of a deal, in your view, is that giving this authority to Attorney General William Barr? Well, it's certainly something that is an important development in the uh, intelligence community and its relationship to the Department of Justice. However, we need to keep in mind that the Attorney General not only was prior the Attorney General, this is his second stint in the position, but he also has a record working uh, in terms of legal policy, working uh, as a lawyer in D.C. and a very well-respected, uh, he was a very well-respected figure. In addition, he worked at the CIA. This is a, uh, an individual who's got tremendous respect for national security and for information. And so uh, while it is an important development, it's not as if the president is giving this declassification authority to a very low-ranked official that doesn't know how to handle it. The attorney general knows how to handle this material. Right, but Washington is famous for turf battles. In this case, it could be justice versus the intelligence community. Should there be concern about permanent damage? I don't think so. I think that the attorney general is going to be able to work with the intelligence committee. Uh, the, uh, sorry, the intelligence community. Let's keep in mind that it's only the uh, declassification authority only applies to the investigation regarding the 2016 election, and the declassification authority is staying particularly with this attorney general. It does not uh, get inherited by the next attorney general, mm -hmm. so it's only a temporary authority for this specific purpose. It's not as if the authorities guarding this kind of information are being permanently altered or, or transmuted in some way. I want you to hear Senate Judiciary Chairman Lindsey Graham's perspective today on Fox News Sunday. What Nadler's doing is trying to destroy the president and his family. If I were the president, I'd fight, fight back against this political revenge coming out of the House. Mueller was the man of the law. Mueller was an independent voice that we all trusted to be fair. I don't trust House Democrats to be fair. They're trying to redo the Mueller report. They're trying to make up other stuff. And at the end of the day, it will be political suicide for them to impeach. Sam, your thoughts on this battle between the president and House Democrats? Well, I, I think that at the end of the day, in his role as the head of the executive branch, the president has an interest in transparency. Uh, the attorney general uh, also believes in transparency, which is why he transmitted as much of the Mueller report as he possibly could uh, to the Hill. So in terms of the president, remember, you've got to keep one thing in mind. Over the last two, three years, there were a tremendous amount of leaks that were coming to the media from members of the intelligence community, and some of those probably were in violation of classified information laws. And if you are the head of the executive branch and you have to protect those laws, it limits your ability to respond and put the information in context. By giving this kind of authority to the attorney general in a responsible, and uh, very calm way, the attorney general can determine what happened during that investigation, what's appropriate to be released to Congress, and how can the American people get some transparency, some vision into what actually happened so they can restore faith in the Department of Justice. Is there merit in going back to the end of the Obama administration to look at the origin of this Russia probe? I'm not exactly sure how far. Nobody really knows, I think, uh, how far back the probe is going to go. But knowing the people at the Department of Justice, I work there as the acting assistant attorney general, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be very thorough. My guess is there are many folks outside Washington, outside the Beltway, asking, will this ever end? Will it ever end, Sam? Yes, eventually it will, and, and um, it will have a, hopefully we'll have a much better picture of exactly what happened and how we could avoid something like this happening in the future. If you were a person at the Justice Department, not you obviously, but if you were one of the people maybe in the beginning who started some of this, uh, would you be a little anxious about the Attorney General digging into this right now? Uh, I, if I was somebody within the intelligence community and I did not do the right thing, of course I would be, I would be concerned. But uh, you have to say that um, what, if, you, if you did the right thing, if you did the right job, if you followed the protocols and followed the regulations, I don't think that you have anything to fear from this kind of a uh, background check investigation. All right, Sam Raymer, thanks so much for your time and your expertise. Thanks, Mike. Really appreciate it.